What's up, everybody? It is 2024, and we are back. Oh, oh, oh. One. You got it. Let's do, let's do a drop set here. We're gonna go lighter, and then almost like. Let's go the opposite of a stretch pause. So it's gonna be a rest pause concept, but it's almost like we can call it like a flex pause, okay? So I'm gonna come here, so I'm gonna do probably eight to 10, and I'm gonna come back here and I'm just gonna hold it, all right? Okay. That's gonna be my rest, right? But I'm gonna have you put your hands right here so I'm not losing it, right? Okay. You're not actually pulling me, but just like, Hold let's fight it together. Yeah. And then I'll go again, failure, then one more, then, um, then failure, so. Five count or 10 count? Uh, let's go 10 count. Okay. Yeah, 10 yeah. count. Three rounds, tank it to two in between. Two flexes in between the tank out. Yeah. Perfect, but we'll need to go. One more, here we go. Yep. Two. Yeah. Go left. Eight. Eight. Nine. Yep. There we go. Yep. Oh. Yep. Fight it, bro. Let's go. Good. One more stretch. Two. One more. All the way. Four. Three. Two. Let's go. Oh, my. Okay, so exercise number one here. We did some of Joe Bennett hypertrophy coaches, rear delt flies, cable flies, if you want to call them. Um, it's kind of the same setup as if you were into a reverse pec deck, but I really like him on the cable here. So we had his little, what are those called? Straps, cuffs, cuffs. So you use his cuffs just to grip there. You can use whatever. If you need to grab onto just the cable or the ball, it works too. But those are really nice just to drive. Um, but as you saw there, we were staying perfectly up and down, driving through our rear delts and squeezing. Now in the last round, we did a nasty drop set um, that we were just, like I said, the first round was 10. And then what we did is just flexed it for 10 seconds, failure set, flex for 10 seconds, failure set, and then finished with the flex. So that was really, really good. But we're going to do some more rear delts because we are drilling shoulders today. Um, and we'll keep going. So we're going to introduce you to the next band man, Nick Gloff. Some of you might not need an introduction, but um, I've been training with him the last two weeks. Um, like I said, I just started, as we talked about earlier, I just started back up two weeks ago with training, nutrition, supplementation, everything. Um, and this guy's been an absolute help in, uh, in all of that. So we've been coming in every day, two o'clock in the gym, that we gotta be here, and uh, we just get to work. So it's very good to have him in my corner because Nick is extremely knowledgeable. That's what he, that's what he does. I mean, he trains hundreds of clients all over the nation on just the training portion. You right, you do some coaching too, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but like he's what I know him more for is the training portion because of the knowledge he has behind it um, and just the techniques. So if you follow Nick at Nick Gloff on Instagram, he's a really really good Instagram on showing you movement patterns, showing you exercises, and overall just talking about how things should be done correctly. So he's huge on that. I'm using him mainly just to make sure I'm doing everything right. Um, I'm not trying to just you know progress too fast. It's about getting the most out of the least and so he's really helped me with that 
And also he brings a lot of good exercise to the table that we can use. I um, mean, it's been awesome. It's been beneficial and we're blowing up. So we're gonna do another one here. This is actually one of his that he taught me. So I'm gonna let him talk about it um, and we'll keep rolling. What do you call these, boy? These are rear delt pull downs. Rear delt, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you come up with that name? <laughs> Rear delt pull downs is the most self explanatory thing I could call it. So, this is literally just what the name is. It's a rear delt pull down. You do a, any pull down really horribly, you'll end up doing a rear delt pull down. So, think about doing it that way. Where Brett is going to get in here and he's going to keep his hands as close to straight pronated as he can while keeping it comfortable for his shoulders. He's going to keep his shoulders elevated and retracted here so he's pinching them together like it's a shrug. And he's gonna drive his elbows out. Do it. And he'll find that he's gonna come into a hard stop right about here when his arm is straight out to the side. That's gonna be where he ends up. This is more like anything else if the bad pull down analogy doesn't work. It's just a face pull with your legs stuck in place. So that's all you have to treat it like. <coughs> One. You got it. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Uh, two. I don't even need uh, the help. You got it. Yes, sir. All right, finished enough for your delts here. So this is, I guess, our third exercise. But we're only gonna do two sets here. This is just solely just to finish them off. So they're already nice and full of pumps. What we're doing is we're gonna do a bent over, single arm, cable, fly, kick out, whatever you wanna call it. But the key here is the staying completely still. So the body is staying stable. You're not throwing your shoulder out and just using momentum to pull the cable. You're staying down over the weight and going out in the way with it with that single arm cable. So it just puts a lot of tension and pressure on that rear delt, just that single side and just finish them off here. So I guess a little bit of touch-up work here, um, but these are great to like, after you already got a good, some blood in there, these are a great way to finish them off. Professor Gloff and now Hulk. Come on, bro. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's 
Let's go, Brett. Big word. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. Win. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Come on. Yep. Yes, sir. Come on. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. There you yes, go. sir. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Yes. Come on, bro. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yes. Don't get out. Watch the finest. The boogeyman in my grip. Shit, bro. That's fire. Boogeyman hiding let's underneath go, your let's bed. Go, let's go. You know, That's the energy, bro. That's the energy. <laughs> That's the energy. Hey. Come here. Go. Come on. Up. Yeah, there it is. Woo. There it is. Good. Game plan. So for him, since he just did his last set at 45, he's gonna go down to 30 for his first set. He's gonna get 10 to 15, no assistance, no added partials. He'll drop down to 20, do the same thing, go as far as he can to failure. I'll help with a couple assisted reps. He'll get some partials. Then the third one, he'll drop to 10 pounds and do the same thing again. Just get everything, just fucking, just, just go, just go. Yep, come on. My partners, do you mean assistant? Yep. Yeah. I'm in partials. Yes. <clears throat> Come on. Squeeze <clears throat> them up top. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> there we are. Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> two. <clears throat> get two. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. Yes, sir. Fuck. Last one. Whoo. Put out, yeah. Let's go. Squeeze them up top. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Yep. Two. Three. Four. Four. Come on. There it is. Partial finish. Yes, sir. Woo! Yeah. I should have held your arms down for the last one.
Come on, Boogie. Come on. Here we are. Go, come on. He's ripped. He's gonna feel like 80 pounds. Five more and then fight me. Three, two, one. Yeah. Just fly pressure, fly yeah. pressure, fly pressure. Good. Fight. Get it out there. Yep. Push me away. Off, I got more. Oh. Yes. Come back in. Off. One more, come in. Yep, yep. One more. Yeah, big hugs. Yep. Seven. Six. Big fight, big fight, big fight. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh. All right. Don't underestimate the tents. All right, as you saw, we started the bread and butter there, just the standing dumbbell side raises. Doesn't get much, you know, better than that, especially with a partner. You saw we were using each other. So I've always said in, in my videos in the past, I said like on shoulders, it's a big benefit is to have a training partner with you because they can help you push failure with just a little bit help. So like me and him both, like we got an extra five to 10 reps on the end of those sets, but it was really just a little bit of guidance of the elbows. It wasn't when you're actually like picking each other's arms up. We we're just providing enough assistance to get to the top and control the negative and back through. So whenever you can get a part of the shoulders, you can take sets so much longer and create so much more fatigue, muscle breakdown that you can then rebuild and get bigger and stronger that way. So remember that partners are really, I think, key in shoulder training. You don't have to, but they do help a lot. Um, so now we're moving on. Like I said, we did a couple top sets, drop set, and now we're gonna go to more of a you know, structured machine setting here. So we're gonna do the seated Atlantis um, side, side lateral machine. Um, this one you can either kind of set up where you bend way over and kind of hit rear delts. I've seen people do it that way. Um, but we're gonna be focused on still just hitting mainly our, our side laterals there, so lateral heads of our shoulders. So we're gonna sit a little bit more straight up and down. Still gotta bend a little bit, um, but we're focused on coming out in the way. So same kind of concept with the dumbbells, control and squeeze into the top. I kind of got a little sloppy there on the drop set. But squeeze into the top and control it down. So this one really, now it's all about isolation and getting everything out that we have left in these shoulders.
Okay, so now we're moving into the front side of the shoulder. So, like I said, we did two, three, three exercises of rear delts, moved on to two exercises of side lateral delts, that lateral head, and now we're gonna focus on the anterior, the front head of your shoulders here. So, we're gonna start with the press. A um, little bit of energy left, so we'll, we'll press here now. Um, this is just the Arsenal Strength Machine, one of my favorites. It just sets you up exactly where you want. Um, I'm at the point, especially in my career, you know, shit, we've been doing these presses now for, 15, 16 years that like, I'm not gonna do too many dumbbell presses overhead here anymore. Um, just because of injury prevention, you know, if I've ever had any issues with shoulders, it's from trying to press too heavy a dumbbell. So I'm gonna leave the ego at the door there and go with more of a controlled manner. So these machines, I'm not saying you shouldn't your dirty or anything. I spent plenty of years pressing heavy dumbbells and it built my shoulders. And you know, it's just gonna build your core as well and stability and everything. Um, but now I'm to a point where I'm just gonna completely focus on, you know, something that's, set here that you're just driving right through. So I'm just punching through, through my interior delts, squeezing at the top and controlling down. So this one's feeling pretty good. Like I said, I'm still getting strength back. It's been only two weeks and I think last week I did here, I was like three plates. So today's gonna be four for sure, maybe more. Um, so that's awesome to feel all the strength is coming back, the endurance. Um, but let's see what we can do here today. I'm um, gonna really blast through this. One, two, three, up, me. Four's feeling heavy. <laughs> Come give me a few, will ya? Yep. Three, two, up, 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 Here we go, Yep. Up, 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 Three, yep. Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. Come on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, Endurance quite ain't there yet. <laughs> that was good. Okay, last shoulder movement of the day. Um, so like I said, we're hitting those fronts now. Started with the press with a little bit more energy. And now we're just getting whatever we can get out left. So endurance is phew, taken down. I can see like still getting back into it, but we are gonna finish strong. Um, I'm gonna do some front raises here. Think here, the concept of like a dumbbell, single arm front raises, alternating. So you've probably seen many people do it you know, here with the dumbbells. I'm gonna do that same concept, but I'm gonna do it with these cables. So I really like this setup just because of the constant tension. You know, you're not just swinging it up and swinging it down without control. I'm driving, I'm squeezing at the top, I'm controlling it down, perfectly down. I still keep that tension the entire time. So if you have this set up, like I said, you've just, I'm just bringing the arms in on the cables so they're right at my sides. And I'm gonna have create tension to start, so I'm gonna have constant tension here. And I'm just gonna alternate here almost ro robotically. So keeping it all right here, we're trying to work on this tie-in in between your pec and your front delt 
there. And, um, and it's whatever we got left. So let's squeeze these out and finish it up. All right, so we are moving on. We're gonna do two rounds of two different exercises that triceps now. So as I talked about earlier to start this video, um, my split today being the shoulder and tricep day is how I wanna set it up. So we'll, I'll usually do two or three, we're kind of running on too low on time, two or three exercises of triceps at the end here. Um, and then these two are more so, this is what Goff has been showing me and we've been doing the last few weeks. And I really, really like these, so the execution on it. So obviously it's just a single arm push down, but how we're doing it is we're like pushing through the palm here so I'm kind of palming it, put my knuckles on the outside, and I'm lining up, I'm slightly turning my body so there's a pathway going behind me. So I can pin it all the way through, flex this to the horseshoe of your tricep way, and pin it down there. And when I'm controlling it, the weight back up, the cable, I'm actually kind of bending at the elbow and driving my tricep back a little bit because I want to create a stretch here. So it's pin it through, create a stretch while you're coming back. So I should have a nasty little stretch here, a lot of tension, and then back through. So. Take these really slow, really feel the movement. It takes a few times, like I said, I started doing with him. By the third round of it, I was really burning the great pump. Um, so that's where we're at right now. And then like I said, with the three rounds of these, it's a failure on each arm, going up each step, uh, and get, get, getting everything we can. So, one of the main things that you're going to notice about this is the way he's setting up. He's going to have, you come over here, you stay. <laughs> so he's got his arm lined up and pointed in a direction that's comfortable for him. And he's got his upper arm in the same plane as this cable is. So now as he extends and just start your separate. As he extends his elbow, it's moving in just a straight line. So this isn't at a weird oblique angle that's going to start hurting his elbow. And to make this easier, instead of just the shoulder half of this lining up with the cable to the upper arm it's also lining up at the, the uh, forearm portion because he's not actually gripping this in any specific way he's just setting up a platform with his hand so that as he presses into this his forearm can stay in exactly the same position his wrist doesn't move so he's just <coughs> keeping this something to put pressure against and press straight into the skin oh my. yep i'm with you Yes, oh. It's TRT. <laughs> video. If you take a little note, if you watch his hand, his wrist actually doesn't move. That's the whole point of doing this bear claw. <laughs> Set up your fingernails into it or just wrap around it. Keep the pressure on the pinky side of the hand. You can press right through it. You don't even have to wrap. Come on. Yep. 
All right, that's a wrap on, I guess, day one of the week for us. So this is the shoulder and tricep day. Um, as I said, next will be our quad day tomorrow. Then we have our chest and, chest and biceps, back, and then hamstrings focused. So this is what I think the split's gonna be. I'm doing it this way mainly because um, right now I'm just more focused about getting back into it fully. We're symmetrically hitting everything the same. And then here in about a month or so, we can adjust based off needs. You know, if I need to bring something up more than the others as they're responding here, then we can. So this is just a great fundamental um, training split that I want to try. And it's been awesome so far. Like I said, I'm getting enough volume for each one that I'm sore that I don't need to come revisit it again until the following week. Um, and I've always kind of, I feel like I thrive the most from those kind of setups is where I can go all out on a body part, let it rest for five to six days and come back and hit it again. So again, I want to thank Goloff, Nick here. Um, this is, uh, like I said, he's, he's been a very, very big help for me, especially coming back into this training, making sure everything is fine tuned. Um, someone I looked up to when it comes to training wise. And you know, it's also a very good brain I can bounce things off of. Um, Cause even I overthink some things, especially in training. And, and he'll catch me sometimes and stuff too. And I know what I'm doing. He's, he's learning a lot of stuff here too. And that's what bodybuilding is. I've always said like bodybuilding is a lifelong journey. Even when we're done competing someday, you know, we're still gonna be bodybuilding the rest of our life. And there's gonna be so many trials and errors of different training styles. And so this is what's good is when you get somebody that's seen a lot, I've seen a lot and we're kind of combining and kind of building our own. And um, I think it's gonna be really, really good. I, like I said, these last 14 days or 10 days actually has been the best little restart or jump start that I've ever had in the weight room and, and physique wise. And so these months ahead are gonna be awesome. We're gonna bring them all with you. So this is video number one to 2024. Make sure you are staying tuned with this by subscribing, liking, and comment what you guys wanna see. Like I said, I always say that, but for real, we're gonna be pumping this out. Um, we got a big March and April ahead of us, and I'll be talking more about this in the next video. I got—I really want to show you guys something, so make sure you're staying tuned and let me know what you want to see. Till next time.